Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another DOY Creation 7 video. Welcome back, everyone. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I am Jeanette, also known as Soraya of DOY Creation. Before I get started, you guys know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High, Yah. Y'all see what I'm wearing? Are y'all checking out what I'm wearing? So this is another one of my half ponchos. I, I should have just named it half poncho, or I think initially I started with off the shoulder poncho because you could definitely wear it off your shoulder. But this is the next one that I'm wearing, guys. I did do a tutorial on this one right here, which was very recent. So if you are interested in making you one of these, uh you know, off the shoulder type of poncho, please make sure you check out the tutorial. And if you are checking out the headband, I have a tutorial for that as well. So here we go. And I am going to, okay, so on our live, we was talking about a lot of one skiing projects. So I, I share with you guys that I was going to be doing a series on uh one skiing projects because here is another one uh on sunday i had the black one with the specs in there which was using red heart yarn and this one is using the burnett pop and it's popping y'all let me know if it's popping so anyway guys so i got some new stuff that i would like to share with you guys and some stuff that I showed before, but I got a lot of new subscribers. So welcome to all of my new subscribers, all of my returning subscribers, all my, all my people. Okay. So I want to share you with you guys, some new stuff that I've been making. And one of the things I was making that I was blessed by Jenny to receive some of the t-shirt yarn. You guys have already seen the t-shirt yarn. I share with you guys a tutorial using the t-shirt yarn to make that fun basket but i had one skein of it left so i was trying to think what i was going to be doing with the yarn and i really wanted to utilize all of the yarn because i know if i set it to the side i might not get back to it so this is what i did using one skein of the t-shirt yarn which is from it's the fettuccine and it's by Lion Brand Yarn, okay? I decided to make a cow out of it, a cow neck scarf. So here is, here is the scarf, guys. And it's in like this peach color, really pretty. And it's nice and thick. I actually tried this on earlier. I wanted you to see it on my mannequin first. So that, that's how I did it. I believe I have a tutorial on how I make my cow necks, which is which are really, really easy to do. So I went on and made a cow neck scarf to use up the rest of the yarn because I was contemplating if I wanted to uh, make like, like a wallet or, you know, something in that neck of the wood but i really wasn't in the mood for it i knew i would not utilize a wallet so i wanted to make something that i felt can be really utilized and so i made and it's heavy guys this is thick so i wanted to do something useful with it and i made the cow neck scarf and i think it's absolutely beautiful i, I was going to pair it up with um when i put it on my mannequin I wanted to put on uh, my blue jean jacket. I have a waist blue jean jacket, but I didn't have the right tank top or t-shirt to pair it up with. So this color is has some of that color in there. So yeah, and I know if you've seen one cow neck, you've seen it all, but I have never made a t-shirt yarn cow, cow neck. So I went on and made that. So now all of that yarn is completed. Bobby Lon reached back out to me and asked me, did I want them to send me some more t-shirt yarn? Because they was really impressed by uh, the basket that I made. 
um, not following a pattern. And I guess they think the other uh, project that I made not using a pattern. And so they reached out to me and they was like, do you knit? Do you want us to send you some more yarn? And I was like, absolutely. Yes. Send me some more yarn. So I have, um, they asked me, they was going to be sending me some yarn, uh, knitting yarn, because they asked me, uh, was I a knitter? Something popped up on my screen. They asked me, was I a knitter? And I said, no, I'm not a knitter, but I do have a lot of my subscribers that are knitters. So they supposed to be sending me something over guys for a giveaway. So I was super excited about that. I was like, oh, wow, that is so awesome that you guys want to um, not only bless me with some yarn, but you want to bless one of my viewers with some yarn as well. So as soon as that, because they said they was going to be shipping it out um, ASAP, I think it's like a knitting kit that they're going to be sending me. Once I get that, guys, I will be coming back and sharing that with you guys and also doing that as a giveaway because I have I was going through my knit crate box and I realized one of the uh monthly one of the monthly box was with some knitting needles in there and it's absolutely nothing I can do with any knitting needles. All right. So a lot of you guys, you know, was asking, well, I know Angela, Angela, if you're watching this, make sure you contact me because you was asking me about some of my jewelry. So this jewelry that I'm getting ready to share with you guys, because I do make jewelry as well. So let me share you with you some jewelry. Um, some of this will be new to you guys and some of it. If you're new, it's new to you. But if you've been here a while, you probably already seen this. But I made a set. I got it wrapped in plastic because I don't want it to you lose its, um, I don't want it to, you know, get, y'all know the word I'm trying to find. So I made this, um, this charm down here. So I just really just bought some glass bead. This is made. This is a gold plated chain. And I added this glass gem along with some copper wire around it. So I hooked that up, which is absolutely beautiful. And what I made to go along with this with the glass one, I made a ring to go with it. How awesome and cute is that? But I didn't stop there, guys. I made a pair of copper. This is copper wire, guys. Some copper wire earrings. Now I'm all into the big and the bow earrings, but I do tone it down sometimes with smaller earrings. Um, but I was noticing when I was making my earrings that I kept making big and bold earrings. So I decided to tone it down. And I make this set right here. Okay. Really had fun making this set. It's absolutely adorable. I think it's so awesome. Uh, this set and both of these sets that I'm getting ready to share with you guys can be purchased on or in my Etsy shop. I only have two. So if you want it, don't hesitate. Go ahead and grab it. So I just have it secured in a plastic wrap. And then, so that one is in the copper and the green. And purple is one of my favorite colors. Hint, hint, in case you didn't know. So I made one in purple as well. I had it wrapped up pretty well. But I got a different color glass gem. So that was in, in, in the gold plated. This one is in silver. And I made it with a, a lighter water type. This reminds me like uh, the summertime. You know how blue the water be. So it doesn't necessarily be blue. It's got that bluish green to it. So I made that with the purple. And then I made a ring to go with it. 
okay? And then I just made some purple earrings to go to complete the set. So there you have it. Is that gorgeous or what? I was really impressed when I got done with that. I was like, I am very impressed with you. Yes, I am very impressed. So these two guys are available. Check out the website. I will leave my link in my description box below, just in case you're interested. And if it's not something that um, that you particularly wear, but you do know someone that would love and enjoy um, this type of jewelry, please get it for them. So I decided that I was going to be making some more earrings uh, rings today. So here are the one, one of them that I made is nice and bold. Really love this guys. It's just one of those pieces that um, really stands out. It really, really stands out, but it's just so, I don't know. It's so retro. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Before I decided that I was going to show or share my rings with you guys, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get my nails done or even put my own nails on. But I couldn't wait because I'm always impressed what I come up with. So that is in purple with a clear glass gem. And like I said, that is how that looked. And then I decided, now this is two shades of purple. So this is a purple one that I made. And this is a different color purple. Um, it's almost like, I don't even know how to even describe it. But here is the next ring. Because you can see that's a, ah, it doesn't show, it doesn't show too well on here. But this is another purple one that I made. They are adjustable because you just pull it on the side. And that way you can wear it in or on any finger because it is adjustable. And I think wearing these, and I'm definitely going to, because I made some for myself, I'm definitely going to be wearing these more myself. Um, so you guys can really get inspired to be like, Girl, what ring are you rocking today? I guess to have that one. So yeah, so that is another one. Absolutely adorable. Love it. And then I made another one, which is in, um, what was that length? So this one has like a clear glass and this one has like um, a little green, with a little blue up in it, a subtle color. And then I have one in gold plated with a blue gem. Okay, let's just put it on this finger. Like I say, they are adjustable. And I love them. How cute is that? That is so adorable. So cute. So absolutely adorable. I really love these. So those are um, the newer ones that I made where these three right here are the latest ones that I made. These three is just absolutely stylish and very, very beautiful. Really love it. I'm just always trying to be creative. Like sometimes guys, you know, when we crocheting, because I don't knit, you know, so I can like switch it up. I think I'm gonna keep this purple on. This one is just really like calling my name. Um, I got into making jewelry uh, because sometimes my hand, if it gets like tighten up or crimp up or feel like, you know, I need to put the needle down or put the crochet hook down. And I was thinking about like, what else can I be doing besides that? And I crochet uh, a lot of jewelry, like I, I crochet, all types of jewelry, but I wanted to expand that whole arena right there. And watching Joyce McTeer, I have to give her the props because she has been such an uh, inspiration. She has been such an awesome teacher for me. 
um, just thinking outside the box. If you ever like watch her channel and see the things that she makes, it's really unique and really outside the box. So she helped me to expand, to go outside the box and really um, give me that little push I need to go ahead and tap into the jury making. Now, Angela on Sunday was asking about some of these rings right here. And I think Lisa, if you're watching, you wanted to know exactly what rings were she speaking about. But I make these types of ring. I sold uh, quite a bit of them. Uh, so I make these type of rings as well. So yeah. So I'm just going to be adding these to, you know, to the Rasta. Um, okay. Just adding these to them because I just, I just love it. I really enjoy making, I really enjoy making jewelry. I really enjoy, it's just like, it gets me away from the crochet world and gets me into jewelry making. And it just really um, motivates me to, oh, I could really put this on. I really need something silver. <laughs> and there you go. That's how it goes. Um, I just really, you know, get a chance to do something else. You know, I try to, I try to sew, but sometimes my sewing and the way that my nerves are set up, the sewing is not always the best thing for me. For all of you sewers out there, two thumbs up. But for me, it's sometimes it's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm really not in the mood, but I can sew basic, basic pieces. So those are the new, um, you know, the new selection for my rings. Okay. So there they are. And like a wine color, purple, green, turquoise of um, copper and gold, purple. You know, I have them in all colors. So I really love it. And I make the earrings. I'm not even, I don't know. Should I grab them? I was, this is how I did it. Let me just do it because I got a lot of new subbies. So what I was doing was each time that you was purchasing like a pair of the earrings, I was sending you a matching ring. I do sell them separately, you know. I think I'm just going to go back. If you're interested in any of the rings, I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, see this will go with either that or my check out the website. And if you order, if you order any of the earrings, I will be including the ring. OK, I will be including the ring. Yeah, I think I'm just going to start that back. Uh, it's the first of the month, so I probably just run that for like a couple of weeks. Um, purchase the ring earrings, and I will just not these right here. This is make sure I'm clear with these types of rings right here. Okay, you'll be getting both. How about that? Is that does that sound like a good deal? Let me know in the comments if that sounds like a great and awesome deal. Because I love it. I love what I do. I really, really enjoy what I do. So let me bless someone. So guys, so these are, like I said, the new items, the cow neck. Like I said, I just wanted to just finish that up. I, I'm very impressed because, you know, if you live in Chicago, if you live in those cold states, I didn't know that this t-shirt yarn was going to be that heavy and that thick. But I think, like I said, if you live in those cold states where you want to uh, have something a little bit more heavier or more warmer on you, that's why when I crochet, I do not buy, you know, hats and scarves set. I'd be like, there's no way those pretty hats and scarves are going to keep the Chicago wind away from your neck and away from your chest, away from your head. I'm so glad that I'm blessed that I can make my family own hats and scarves set so that we can, you know, get through the winter without getting sick, you know, from the heavy winds because we have really heavy winds. 
So guys, that is what I wanted to stop in to share with you guys. If you are interested in anything, make sure that you uh, go to the website and check it out. I just think this is just making, it, I think it's just making my hand look a little bit more, I don't know, sophisticated. Should we say, dare I say, sophisticated? See, I can't even say it twice, <laughs> sophisticated. So anyway, guys, so that is what I wanted to stop in to share with you guys. I think that is all for right now. I do got some other stuff that, like I said, I got stuff that I need to do reviews on. Um, my husband, I, I'm thinking that he fixed he fixed my phone where I'm able to record more. So I definitely got to do a little bit more recording. And with that being said, um, I got to do this review on some products and I'll be coming back to you guys with that really, really soon. The Vitas are done, baby. The Vitas are done. So now I don't feel pressured. I just was pressured, y'all. I was pressured. But to, uh, but kudos to everyone that took on that challenge and mastered it, okay? You jammed it. You did that thing, girl. You did it. So anyway, guys, that is all that I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. Thank you so very much for uh, tuning in to the video. Like I said, my Etsy shop link will be in the description box below. I do offer free shipping for U.S. customers only. Sorry, international. Um, but check out the website, find something, purchase it, and I'll get that shipped out to you ASAP. All right, guys, that is all that I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, I know you did. I know you did. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave it in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed, I just don't even know why. Why are we talking? Why are we talking about this? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, a small subscribe button there or at the bottom of your screen. And also hit that bell to all so you can be notified each time I upload new videos. All right, guys, until the next video, always remember, y'all, yeah, some 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking with you guys in the next video soon. I ain't even got to say really, really soon. I could just say soon. How about that? All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.